Hi everybody, welcome back to the Animal Crossing E Plus video journal here at the BitBlock. It is your old buddy Joshy, and uh, yeah, it's currently 7.20 p.m. It is Monday, January 20th. I think it's Monday, right? Uh, yes, today is Monday. Anyways, let's get my mail. See what's going on. Wow, I'm not going to be able to read any of these, and there's no goodies inside. That's coming from the HRA. I've got a score of 3,764! I'm pretty sure I was supposed to half sing that, right? And then this, okay, I think this is what I've been waiting for. This is from the museum. This is from Blathers. That is some cool stationery. Look at that stationery. Uh, and now I can officially go over, well, I, I, I can't go over to him, but I can send fossils to Blathers and he will identify them at the museum. I was waiting for him to, you know, send me the letter to do that. It is a gorgeous winter night here. A little bit of snowfall. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on a second. I have got the perfect umbrella for such an occasion. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's my snowflake umbrella. I look very cool when I walk around with it. Oh, see what I did there. All right, well, let's start off the uh, video journal by checking out Tom Nooks. Ooh, hold on a second. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe not hold that. Oh, my aim is impeccable. Wow, look at this. I'm an idiot. I can't dig a hole. Imagine that, being so dumb that you can't dig a hole. Well, that's my life, everybody. I really want to get a fishing rod so I can start fishing. Oh, look at this tree. I like it. Listen to the sound this tree makes. Dong, dong. All right, let's go inside. I can't wait to show you guys a little secret in this game. When Tom Nook's shop is closed. What's going on in the back left corner there? Uh, when Tom Nook's shop is closed in Animal Crossing E+, there's a little secret thing that you can do, and I'm not going to tell you what. You probably already know, but we'll save that for another journal when I play very late at night. Oh my god, a watering bird? Heck yeah! By the way, I have a real one of these in real life. I got a real one in real life! As opposed to having a fake one in real life. Okay, so we can get a net. I got some stuff I want to sell. I think I got like one or two things. I got a gyroid to sell to you, Tom Nook. No, that's the thing I just bought. Alright, I'm going to sell him this. I'm gonna need that paper. So I'm really excited about the end of the month, too, because we can play the special raffle day. Remember he used to have, like, at the end of the month, Tom Nook clears out his entire shop, and when you go in, he's got a special raffle day. So I'm collecting those tickets like a madman. Oh, look at the little gelato umbrella. Oh, that's a gelato umbrella. Okay, let's get my net. So after this, I will have the shovel and the net as far as my tools go. It's tool time. We're also going to check out the, um, Tom Nook. Jeez, I don't need to know how to use it. It's the year 2015, Tom Nook. I know how to use myself a net. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the, uh, the bottom, the second option is show it to me. Okay, show me. Oh, I don't like that at all, Tom Nook. Get that out of your wall. Get that off of your wall. And what do we got for the carpet? Ooh, I kind of like that. It's very ugly, but in a in an orangey way. I can deal with ugly things as long as they're orange. Because orange is my favorite color. All right, I'm going to get these flowers. I'm all about the flowers, making things pretty. Um, do I want anything else? Hmm. I really want raffle tickets. I've only got three of them. I need to get a dresser to store those in. Um, so there's some cool things going on tonight. Uh, you guys will remember in the last video journal, we talked to Copper, and Copper was like, there's going to be something going on on January 20th. But I couldn't read what it is, because this is obviously the Japanese version, and I don't read Japanese, unfortunately. But I did a little snooping around, and uh, Crazy Red is in town. Crazy Red is somewhere around here. Should we hit the rocks? No, that ain't it. That ain't it either. Um, I totally forgot what acre he's in. Do I have any new animals? That's three, four, five. Ooh, I do have a new animal. Whoever lives here is new. We gotta go see them. I'm gonna rub my butt on their face. That's how I greet people. That's why a lot of people don't like to talk to me anymore. All right. Ha, ah, Crazy Red. Awesome. I'm gonna take away my shovel, though. I don't want him to think I'm going to shovel him. Although I am going to shovel him. Look at him looking at... Oh, guys, this is awesome. Remember? I... Oh, unfortunately, it's snowing, so we can't see his, like, black market sign on the top. But remember when Crazy Red would show up in town? That's all... Wait, he still does. What in the heck am I saying? In one of the games, he didn't anymore. Oh, is Animal Crossing City Folk that he did not show up in your town. I kind of like that he shows up in a random acre, though. That makes it exciting. It's like a, it's like a quest to find out where Crazy Red is. All right, we're gonna go in and see what he's got for sale. 
Let's follow him in. Yeah! So, uh, some of these items are rare, and some of them are common. And the common ones, you might end- Oh, I don't have any monies. Oh my gosh, look at the naked baby over here! <laughs> is that still in the game? I don't know, I like that. Th which is a weird thing to say about a naked baby. It just looks weird, and I like weird things. Oh, look at the puffer fish! <laughs> Crazy Rat, I'm more interested in the, uh, crap that you're not selling. So I don't think any of this is necessarily rare. This might be rare? I gotta come back to you, Crazy Red, because I don't have enough monies for all of your wares. Oh, that's actually not that expensive. I think everything is 3,200 bells in his shop. All right, we'll be back. He's got a B on his apron. What does the B stand for? Maybe his Japanese name begins with a B? Maybe it stands for bells? Maybe it stands for Big Mama's House 3, now on DVD. I don't think that's what it stands for. I don't know where in the world I got that from. That is a strange thing that I found in the back of my mind. Hi! Oh, okay, cool! I didn't want to talk to you either. Yes, I did! Let's go inside. What was this guy's name? You guys were telling me what his name is, and I, I did not pay attention. That's the funny thing. Whenever something happens in a video journal, like, a million of you will tell me the same thing over and over again. And I love each and every one of you. But my goodness, just check the comments a little bit. That's all I'm asking. I love all of you, and I'm not complaining. But like a million of you told me what this guy's name is, and actually, I don't even remember it. So don't tell me again, I'll just look in the comments. I really need to learn his name, though. I, I need to know- Whoa, look at that face. I feel like I need to know the names of all my neighbors, my villagers. He's got a cool house. I think we were already in his house. Or maybe I dreamed that we were in that house. I think that's one of the things maybe we should do for this video journal now. Uh, check out their homes. Ooh, they're not home. Also, I made the mistake of saying that Punchy is a girl. Punchy is, of course, a boy. You guys told me that as well. I do remember that one's name. That's Punchy. That's a weird name for a cat. Where did they get Punchy from? I don't know what that's about. Oh, we're gonna do a little delivery! See, again, you know, we can't read what they're saying, but I still feel like there's plenty of fun you can have in this game. Like, honestly, I don't even read what they're saying when I can read it. When it's in English, I don't even really look. So who's this two? This is two. Okay, so the first symbol is like a sideways H. So which one of these is a sideways H? Oh, right there. So this is like somebody within distance. Punchy, you couldn't have delivered this year. No, you know who it's going to be. It's going to be the animal that's not around. Oops. I'm a dangerous man when I've got a sh- Yeah, so it's this person. Well, this animal. <laughs> well, let's go looking for him. Who was that? That is another cat. That's the, the the black cat, I believe. Her name is... Kiki? I don't know what her name is. I think it's Kiki. Kiki the kitten. Bonk. I'm getting a lot of uh, fossils. I'm going to be making bank on the- Oh, hi! <laughs> so this guy... Uh... I like. I like all the animals in my towns. Whoa, my gosh! His pupils have run away. Bring your pupils back, please. You're very horrifying without pupils. Wow, he's still staying mad. Whoa! That was an experience. Dong. Um. What was I doing? Well, let's go. Since I'm going down this way, I knew. Basketball! Remember these? Guys, remember when there used to be just random balls, like sports balls, in your town? Of all the things to get rid of, those would be, like, really fun playing online with your friends. You could set up little, like, goal posts and stuff to play games with balls. You could have a game where, like, you dig holes all over in, like, a maze fashion, and the goal is, like, bring the ball to the goal without it falling into one of the holes. I guess you could kind of do that with the snowballs, right? I don't know. Okay, well, somebody lives over here. Where are they? Oh, they're down a little bit more. Oh, they're gonna be on the cliff, aren't they? Are they on the cliff or are they gonna be down here? Oh, they're down here. Whoa! Actually, I already met you. That's right. This guy's... So I got two monkeys living... Well, two gorillas living in my town. And I'm afraid that both of them are gonna... scheme up on me and eat me alive in the middle of the night. This guy is especially looks kind of frightening. Let's go into his house. I don't know if you can do that anymore. I don't think you can go into the animals' homes if they're, like, not in the home. Which I guess is proper manners, but still. Oh, wow, he's following us in. He's got an interesting house. Some gyroids. Some classic furniture. Huh. Well. I really love back in the day when, like, all the objects are not even 3D. Like, look at that ball. 
That's a 2D object that's just, like, tied to the camera angle. I love that. Alright, bye, weird gorilla guy. He's still in the game, I believe. If he's not, he ought to be, because he's frightening, and I like to be scared of things. Alright, let's try this thing. I want to get the money rock. I need some monies to go to Crazy Reds. No, oh, that's not it. Maybe it's on... Ooh, we gotta get that weed. Should we let the weeds pile up so that when I see Wisp, we can just, you know, take care of him that way? Alright, let's see here. I got a net, which is a pretty crappy tool to get. Yes, it's on Rock Mountain or Rock Island, I can't think right now. Yes, Joshy likes. Oh gosh, Joshy's pants are full of fossils. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Blah, blah, bleep, da, blah. Get rid of all that. And then. I'm gonna write some quick little letters to uh, the museum. Here you go, Blathers. This is kind of a. Um, you know, looking back, this is something they have definitely improved upon. Just being able to go and talk to Blathers is uh, much nicer than having to send a billion letters. Yes, how many we got there? Okay. Let's throw this one away. What was, who is it doing this for? This is to Joshi from Joshua. I don't know what I was doing there. I think I was trying to see if I could mail him to the museum. Huh? Oh, okay. How many fossils do I have? There's five, six, seven, lots of them. Um. Oh, I just remembered something. I won't bring it up until we get there, but I just remembered something kind of cool that we're going to be able to see. That I, I think it's cool. I think it's cute. I think a lot of things are cute. Like cupcakes with little faces on them. Okay. Now we're gonna ma- <laughs> This is, uh, this is a process. You really take it for granted, that touchscreen. This is like, uh, clunky beyond belief. I gotta go into each one of these and... But we're spending quality time together. I think that's what's important. And that's all of them. We're gonna make some money off of these, though, and that's all I care about. Okay. Money. There's a certain atmosphere in this game that is timeless. Like, I'm happily playing the newest version of Animal Crossing and an old version of Animal... Oh, hello! I didn't think I was going to get any use out of my shovel. No, I don't want to grab the whole thing. I just want to grab the... Or not my shovel. I didn't think I was going to get any use out of my net. But I was full of it because I'm going to get this pill bug. Yes! Punchy, come over here and congratulate me. Oh, Punchy's jealous. Hi. I was supposed to deliver something for you, wasn't I? That's right. She's tough. Oh. What? Ah! Uh, what are you giving me in exchange? A shirt? See, I guess this is where it comes in handy to be able to read it, because I just gave her my pill bug for a stinking shirt. Although I do like fashion. What's this? Oh, golly. Well, no, I was right. It's ugly. Ah, uh, ooh, 10,000 big ones. Stuff those in my drawers. Okay, who is this going to? Not you, is it? No, you're not the one. So Kiki is either asleep. Oh, oh, oh he wants me to change his catchphrase. Wow, that's going to be <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard to do because Japanese uh, language works a lot differently than English. So um, let's make his um, catchphrase derp. Will derp fit? I think I can only put four letters in this. Because, like, with Jap with the Japanese language, it's all about sounds. So you can get a lot more out of each symbol. He's going to say derp from now on. Sounds good to me. Okay, we can go to Crazy Reds now. Now I'm going to buy him out. And then before this ends, I really do want to, uh... I want to try and find Kiki and deliver this. Isn't that a Japanese anime? Isn't it Kiki's Delivery Service? I'm pretty sure that is. I'm ashamed of myself for knowing that, but... And I, I don't even know if that cat's name is Kiki, if I'm being honest. Hi, Crazy Rat, I'm back. I'm back with bells. Alright, do you really need to give me the rigmarole again? There's a phrase that I don't use often enough. Rigmarole. 
Let's make that the word of the day. All right, so I really like the stereo system. This is pretty cool. It's a record player. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess everything is not 3,200 bells. This could be rare. I don't know if it is, though. And that's going to make... Ah, I'm sorry. Crazy Red, I want it, but that's a... I, I, got a, I got a loan to pay off. What is this piece of crap? This is like a uh, construction theme. I don't even know if I want to buy any of this. Crazy Red, ah, I like you. I like the bee you got on your apron. But I can't. I want to get the stereo, but I gotta. I can't. I can't. I can't! Money is tight. So that was a pointless visit to Crazy Reds. I didn't think that stereo was gonna be as expensive as it is. I don't think it's worth that. Let's get my shovel out. I've also got. Uh, oh, we need to take a visit to the dump. We're right here. Anything in the dump? Yes! Clothing and stationery. I also, this is where I've been stashing the gyroids that I like. So I have a little gyroid graveyard behind the dump, which seems appropriate. Is this the one that I just picked up? No, that, of course, that's my, my paw print shirt. That's the one to beat. No, I don't like that at all. Alright. I would say leave that in the dump. Put that in the dump as well. Oh, remember the dump, guys? That should be one of the projects that you can build in New Leaf. Oh, look at Porter up here. Hi, Porter. I ain't going nowhere, but I just wanted to look at you. Oh, that didn't grow. That makes me... Oh, geez. See, if I had a fishing rod right now... Hopefully in the third journal for this, we'll have a fishing rod and we can really start living our lives. I don't think I'm going to be able to find this cat. I wanted to find another pill bug there. Hmm. I like this little area. Little little cliff. Huh. Get me the megaphone so I can call her name and find out where she is. Maybe she's upset that I'm calling her by the wrong name. Huh. Uh... <laughs> this is falling apart real quickly. Maybe she's hiding in the rocks. Maybe she's actually sleeping in her home, and that's why I can't find her. Oh, I'm really glad this grew. So this was where the um, the glowy spot was yesterday, and I dug it up and I reburied it. So that's going to be a money tree when it's done. It's also interesting to point out, in this version of the game, uh, Cap'n is just always at the dock, whereas in the English version, he only shows up at the dock if you plug the uh, Game Boy Advance into the system. Kind of makes sense to just have him there at all times, I think. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yesterday, I talked to Tortimer, and he told me to... Oh, baby! Yeah, I remember the oh, remember this guys? I gotta turn the lighthouse on for Mayor Tortimer. So this happens in January. You'll see Mayor Tortimer um out at the the fountain, the wishing well, and he'll be like, Hey, I'm going on va I'm going on vacation and I need somebody to turn the lighthouse on for me. And I was like, you know what? That's a job I was born to do, Tortimer. So now every night for like the next week or so, I have to come in here and turn on the lighthouse. But look how cool this is. Aw, oh, nice. I like this. It's a good thing I remembered. There you go. Lighthouse is on. No ships are going to be crashing into this shore. Well, they might, but not due to a lack of light. There's a lot of stuff buried in the ground. All right, guys, we have hit the 20-minute mark, which means that it is time to say goodbye for yet another video journal. This cat, I don't know where she went. I, I, maybe I'll find her, or maybe I won't. In fact, I won't. I'm gonna walk back up to my house, and if I don't see her in that time, we're just gonna open this. She doesn't deserve it. It's probably gonna be something really junky anyway. Oh, I really wanted to, I really felt good about myself delivering something, but she had to make it difficult. 
I don't even think I'm gonna make it back up to my house. All right, let's open it right here. So this was a gift from Punchy. And it's now mine. A number 23 shirt! Watch this, guys. You ready for this? Oh, that's a really ugly looking shirt. That looks really lousy. Um, but this is, uh, this is gonna be good. Where's Punchy? Hey, Punchy, what's up? Oh, they're having a, oh, I think they were having a conversation. Yeah, so this is a new thing that they introduced for this game. I, the, the irony here is that I'm talking to Punchy with the thing that Punchy told me to go deliver to Kiki. But you know what? She doesn't really seem to care. Uh, this was a new feature in Dubutsu Numori E+. Plus. Uh, where you'd see like three-way conversations where you you can walk up to the animals talking to each other and then you could hear what they're saying. Now, of course, this is something that I, is already in the like series. Although this looks better animated. Like they're moving back and forth and... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like she's turning around. I guess she wouldn't be doing that if I were in front of her though. Oh, look at the old ha-ha-ha laughing stuff. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video journal. We visited Crazy Red, we almost delivered something successfully, and we turned the lighthouse on. Got some weeds and crap growing all over the place here. All right, I will see you tomorrow or in a couple days with another video journal for Animal Crossing E+. And of course, I'm still doing the video journal for Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is probably, uh, I just went up the other day or something. I don't know. It seems like this is all I'm doing, and I'm more than happy about that. 